Today's Captain's Vlog. It's 12 18 hours on Saturday, February 20th, 2016. Hey, Batman! Hey, I got the last of the parts. Hey, Bubba. You want to see something cool? Casey's about to be proud of me. I don't know. Well done. Why do you keep doing those? Because I'm stupid. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> but I did it. Did it. Because. Dude, you got to take I a day like, off. I, I took. Alternate. I, took, I did. All right. I did. I took a day off. And <laughs> suffered. Hi. Hi. Nice haircut. You like that? You look lovely. What are you working on? Uh, the boat. Can I see? You can see, but there's none to see right okay, now. Okay, check this out. I got parts for jet luge. Yeah. Yup, I got the last of the stuff we need. So, it's gonna be a little weird today. All right, here, you take that. I'll, I'll show you what we got. It's gonna be a little weird, because I don't have, Kidwell's sick as a dog. He's quite possibly has syphilis or something. So, I got the Y harness, This is, and I got an extra one. Um, this is how we're gonna feed the single control to both ESCs. I got a pair of battery leads that'll fit the big batteries to the ESC, so we're going to have to solder these in, and that's why we need a 10 gauge wire, and these are 10 gauge wire, okay. I got an extra pair of the big battery leads when we burn up the first pair, and I got a pair of charging leads for EC5, and I got a radio. I got an extra radio because they're only 20 bucks a piece, and it was add 20 bucks and you get a huge discount on your order, so I'm like, screw it, they're, they're the really cheap, basic. It's only a four channel radio, but if you want to make like radio controlled nut spinners for Bruce or something, we can do this. So, I don't yeah. know what the radio is The, okay. For his. This is where it gets fun. Are you doing remote control? What, without it's the only way we can do it without Kidwell or, or Sam. Okay. So, the only way we can control it easily is we hook the motors to the ESCs, to the batteries, to the receiver, and then to control it. Die. Yeah. Or yeah. you break your nice. <laughs> this breaks down to one of two situations have to happen. A hospital visit. Either damn fool on the street luge is holding the radio, which is bad when you're sitting on something that's moving and you know there's no seat belt or seat or harness or anything. You're just sitting on that. So well, you, have right. your, you have your trusted buddy. Alternatively, Bunches. you have your trusted buddy holding the thing. I'll let Liz hold it. <laughs> Great. Is there anyone in the building? There is no one in the building who would hold that and not be like, hey, hey watch this, watch this, fuck you, Bowden, fuck you, Bowden, ah, tree! Differential thrust! I hope he can steer! Uh, awesome. Differential thrust I'm not worried about, because they're first off, they're wide cable together, but, and I've had people ask, can you steer with different, no, not on a luge, because you've got a really long, That's right. there is no yaw moment right. at all. Even with the steering of the trucks, you lean like hell and you barely have a yaw. This thing has a turning radius roughly... Of a like, semi? Semis have a tighter turning radius than this. I've seen semi drivers that can turn around in a street. A wide street, but in a street. You can't do that with a loop. So, so this is what we got. I'm going to begin by putting the batteries on the truck. Okay? You should begin with fundamental assembly. Is this a longer bar? Yeah, this longer looks like bar. a longer bar. I like the longer bar. Okay. Um, this was just a cut off, it just so I have to be the right line. Or, well, okay. Walk the line. Here's some design notes as you begin. The ESCs require being in a breeze, okay. so I'm thinking we mount the ESCs in the tube, which guarantees a breeze to cool the ESCs. Not plastic. The air goes through the tube. Right. It's not a heat sink, I know. Alternatively. Well, I'm worried about the plastic melting if it's not getting enough breeze. Plastic's to cool cheap, down we can make another one easy. Let's give it a shot. Um, I don't think they'll get hot enough to melt the plastic. Um, Blog question of the day. What's the melting temperature of this plastic? It's BBC pipe. Um, Isn't it foam core? Solid core. Solid core. Foam core's for pussies. Um, it's about 90. Do you <laughs> does it sing? Yeah, they have heat ratings on it. That's the heat ratings for the working Ooh. fluid, not the actual melting point. And it doesn't say on that one. 
because even Batman on Taco Night doesn't have poops that hot. <laughs> um, so, so Chris, what do you have? I do not. Okay. So we have two ways to handle that. We can call Horizon, or we can call the hobby shop in town. And really? Well, shit. Well, shit to bed. It's not an optimal solution. <laughs> but it works. But it does. It's it's enough for testing. It's okay. Um, I need to know, guys, comment because you. They looked up what motors these were. Right. I need to know what size these bullet connectors are, and we need a dozen of the. We need half a dozen to do them up. So let's just get a dozen because they're cheap. But we need a dozen of these of the raw bullet connector that we can just solder on to a piece of wire. That would be really handy to have. Um, they don't come on our ESCs. So start with that. We'll we'll just do that to start. Um, so where's the other parts? ESCs. Grab them over there. So we're gonna put, we'll mount the motors, we'll put the ESCs in the tube, and then they're gonna, there will be a pair of wires that go off for the batteries. And our limiting factor, this is really important. We may have to relocate the ESCs. We may have to just put a fan on the ESCs because our limiting factor is going to be this. The length of the Y connector. The length of the Y connector. We can make these wires longer. Okay. So I think we could. Here's how it wires together, all right? The two big wires go to the battery. Each ESC gets one battery. Go ahead. Yes. All right. So, brown, red, orange, brown, red, orange, you just match up the colors, and they go, they'll fit in this, and they'll, it's, it's a firm connection, but they go like that. Each ESC gets one of these, to the one that has three wires. This one that has one wire, we only need one, but it has to go to this, to the one that says, no. It goes to the one that says uh, binder data. Okay? It's going to go there, and that powers them up. I think it could actually go to any of them, but I'll check. But it, this goes to bind data, and then this one extra goes to the radio where it says throttle. Okay? And these are keys, so and they only go one way, so I'll So we're going to have to stretch the wires to fit. Um, this can mount anywhere. Really, um, we just got to be careful because the luge is made of metal, and if we put this inside a metal box, it won't work. So, that's what we got. What? Um, I have a question today. Okay. I'd like to do it. Do it. Do it. Mr. Minkus would love a tour group. Mm. He would actually be really good at it. So, yeah. Is that all you need? Just one person. Take him. I got the blog camera. No, I'll do it. Okay. All right. So we can start on this. Um, if we mount them out like this, we just got to put a muffin fan on it, and we got to have a wind powered muffin. Come up with All right. You'd be get, well. The breeze would be. Causing the right moving the vehicle. Would that not be enough breeze? I don't know. They say they want a five mile an hour breeze, according to the tech document. And really, if they're on, this will be moving at five miles an hour. Right. All right. We'll be back. I'll make it. All right, what you got? All right. Got the tilt cylinder and the trim cylinder rebuilt. So you took you took these? These two. Okay. Took them. And the other one? Or? No, I did not. That's Just, a shock. Oh, I couldn't get the... It's a shock? Yeah. So, keep, okay. So when you're going under thrust, it, it, it keeps the oh. motor from Okay, around. so there's only... One lift There's cylinder. one and lift one. Lift cylinder, trim cylinder. Okay. And right. this is just a shock absorber. Yes. Oh, that's cool. All right. So, um, in rebuilding, found a problem, and I think this was part of the problem with this. This fits down. There's a spring that goes down in there. Okay. Where, where this, does this belong? In the pump. Oh, okay. Cool. It's from the pump. What ended up happening is 
that ended up getting slammed down in so it gets stuck. Okay. And that spring is supposed to take it and hold it up against and seal it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hydraulic pressure pushes it open, lets the fluid through, goes through yeah, the channel, right? Yeah, it's a check valve. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's getting stuck down in there. So okay. everything just drops. How do we fix it? I was going to have Casey turn one, a new one, but that, that, that's a little bit of work. So I'm in the process. It's also really hard to do the hexagonal brooch on the inside. There isn't supposed to be one. It's supposed oh, to be round. It's supposed that's, to that's be round. That's the problem. Okay. Piece okay. of glass, actually from a, or brass from a cleaning rod that I found down in member supply. Okay. I've got it so that we can fit it down in there. The spring will fit in there and it'll keep it from pushing all the way down and in. It'll function like it's supposed to. Give it a shot. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> but right now I've got to go give a tour. Yes. It's your first, isn't it? No, it's my second. Yeah? yeah. On a big Saturday tour? Uh, I've done a Saturday tour before. It was like 15, 16 people. Okay. This will be about that. It, it's going to be a small group. We're, we're breaking it up into tens to make it nice and manageable and easy. Right. So, so, yeah. I'm going to get up there because it's almost 12 30. All right, go rock out. All right. So, this is, this is my concern. It's a 7 amp uh, charge rate. Okay. Mm -hmm. One C charge rate, 7 amps. Well, these are the little wires for the balance charge. Oh. Yeah, like right. these are your main, these are your discharge wires. Mm. And it won't balance charge unless you have these hooked up. I don't know why, which is dumb, because it's got a positive and then a negative to each <laughs> lead. So, I don't know. But we'll hook it up, see if we can do this right. I've never done a 6 ounce. I mean, in theory, it should be pretty stupid something to do, but I've just never done a 6 ounce charge. Never used that plug? Okay, so we grab one of our giant EC5 charging cables, I'll plug that end in first. <laughs> okay. Lipo balance, that's what we want. <laughs> Let's go up to 7 amps. <laughs> This thing maxes out at six, that's all I get. <laughs> six S. My charger doesn't go above six amps. What do you mean connection break? We're plugged in here. What connection is broken? Right to me. Let's try a different plug and see. What the hell? The fuck, over? It's not too happy. Alright. That one is questionable. Let's try... Like it's 
supposed to? Why don't you try cranking it down a bit? To what? Five dollars? Something. No, it's it's a wire problem. Well, it's, right. you got two different batteries, and you tried two different sets of wires. Plus on the end, and the rest are all minus. You should be able to plug that in there. Hmm. And nothing happens. What the hell? black and the other three are This works. What the hell, Casey? Uh, what the hell, Casey? I do not know, sir. Maybe we can do an unbalanced charge? Is that a good idea? Yeah, you, <laughs> okay. it's just it's better to balance it. Lyco charge. Ah! Lipo battery, lipo charge. Just charge it up. Hope for the best. Okay, okay. it's saying connection break on this. Okay. Now there's no way that these have to be connected together for this to work. That doesn't there? sound like a thing. That doesn't. I thought these were like if you have multiple batteries, you bridge them together like that kind of thing. Hmm. But we're gonna voltmeter this. These may be a safety thing or a main switch lead or something like that. Maybe they're designed for things with a main battery disconnect. Yeah. But there's no way in hell I'm going to take a black and red wire coming out of a brick-sized battery and just hook them together yeah. until I know what the hell's going on. <laughs> hey, th 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 fuck! And just, no, right. I'm, not, I'm not going to die that way today. Okay? <laughs> Someday, but not today. We'll get a voltmeter and we'll check it out. All right, we'll be back. So I talked to the nice man at Horizon Hobby, and he said that I am not an idiot and that they get this call on a very regular basis and this is how you have to do it to make the battery work. They actually heat shrink the thing on the end for safety like. And you do this, which isn't, this, this is like genetically against everything I know. The battery is now armed and ready to go. But to make the battery work, the wire out the other side. Now let's see if the damn thing works. Oh, the wire for extending on or wiring it's, it. In. It's something, but it doesn't work unless you do that. 
I think I get that. Now, if you do that on this end, you better be running really quickly. But now let's see if the damn thing works. We're now charging, 6S. Alright, let's do the other one real quick. We'll get that one going. I gotta, I gotta do the magic. So I'm gonna plug this in here to see if it changes when I do it. Okay, Batman, you're going to want to watch that and see if it jumps to life, okay? I'll cut the thing off the end here. Fuck us. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two. No, it still doesn't spring to life. Okay. It works on everything else. Alright. Like okay, and that's all plugged in. That's all plugged in. Lipo balance, 6 amps, 22 volts. That's doing its thing. And now the fan goes on. All right, we are charging two gigantic batteries at six amps each. So, I can start my car with one of those. Hey, Casey. You know the two wires out the back? Yeah. You connect them together. Wow. Yeah. A red wire and a black wire sticking out of a giant battery. And to make it work, you have to stick them together. All right. Nobody knows that. What you doing? And then you jump for the special connector together as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes an excellent space heater. Very large space for a very short amount of time. So these gentlemen are working on, you know, really now all it needs is an, a, a, a rudder and a vertical stabilizer and <laughs> so we're thinking of that is that too close to your head for comfort there's okay um because these are easy to extend they're already bare and ready to go whereas these are kind of whittly and tiny well there is that um that's my thoughts on it should be fine really there's no wind flow here because it's blocked by my head. Um, I would bring these in to about here. That's about the same way. My concern is this turns by tilting. So yeah. if I dive into a turn, that's going to scrape. And if that scrapes while I'm diving into a turn, I die. Well, that's why we're. Okay. We'll, to we'll experiment. This stuff yeah. Out. But yeah, I'm fine with these being in. I'd put one on each side just to be normal, but. Uh, uh -huh. Easier on hardware. Okay. Minimal hardware. All right, do it. Do you want to figure out lengths right now before we get to it? We can put a, put a post off, like the front. Sail, bit of rigging. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to high voltage. Are you guys here for the tour? Yes. You're here. I like the tour. You you would like the tour? Yes. Okay. Well, you're in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble. Yeah. The the tour started at at twelve thirty. Oh, it did. Yeah. But talk to her and she can help you out. Oh.
There's, there's about to be high voltage in a minute, though, so you don't want to see that. Oh, Chris, Hi. what's up? We got the vlog going. Oh, hey, everybody in the IRC, that's Tanner. Hi. Here. Thank you. That's Melissa. Let's start. Where's everybody else? They're, the other tour is coming, so we're starting oh, okay. with this one. Are this is the first half. You know what we're doing. You've seen this before. There's a glitch in there that we're trying to fix. Somebody, there's this group on the website? There's, yeah. Okay, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Chris, I see you got a Tesla coil over here. You will. We're going to run it today. Just a little baby one, but I've got five, I've got three wound already. I've got two more coming, and that's just on the red. And hopefully next week we'll have the six inch going. Today we're just running the four inch, but yeah, next week we'll have the six inch going. I can tell by your, uh, your latest captain's vlog somebody didn't forget to. Line. There was there was a little problem with the line. Line Do I have everybody? Or no, you do not. You're waiting for Matt and Jerry's That's group. What I thought. Back up. Oh. Okay. 
My name is Chris Bowden. I'm the High Voltage High Energy Guy here, and this is the High Voltage High Energy Physics Lab. We're going to play with some fun stuff. So, before I begin, I have to ask you all a very simple question. Do any of you have any biomechanical electrical devices inside your body? This could be hearing aids, cardiac pacemaker, defibrillator, insulin pump, anything that runs on batteries that's inside you. Cool. Not a lot of people do, but it happens from time to time. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> it's my biggest fan right there. Alright, so we're going to start out with some high voltage low amps over here. This is a little baby 4 inch Tesla coil. We're powering it just off of a tiny transformer here. This is just a DX sign transformer. And this machine just plugs in the wall with a regular plug. You can make one of these in your garage. And do exactly what I'm about to do. You can make one of these. This is easy. I teach 12 year olds how to make these. Here we go. Power battery is about 12 volts and a couple hundred amps. 
regular wall socket in your house is 120 volts at 15 amps. So you get about 1,800 watts. This is how you know the guy on Craigslist trying to sell you the 5,000 watt home theater system is lying to you. There's only 1,800 watts on the wall. Your entire house runs on 240 volts at about 100 amps. And in a moment, when we press that button, we will discharge 1,800 volts at 80,000 amps. That's 144 million watts of power. It lasts about three thousandths of a second, and it's a hell of a fun time. Here. I need to bug my ears. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You've been calling the tools over here. Okay, in a few moments, you're going to hear the sound. Mm -hmm. You'll know to plug your ears. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to touch you on the shoulder mm -hmm. so that you know I'm talking to you. Okay. Okay, you don't want any ambiguity in your world at this moment. Okay. When I touch you on the shoulder, I'll say clear to fire. When I say clear to fire, you okay. hold down the button. Okay. okay. Don't just jam it, you gotta hold it down. Yeah. Okay, because there's a safety in a lot. Everybody ready? It's gonna get loud.
So it's kind of fun. So what do you want to do? You can ask absolutely anything you want. While you're thinking of something interesting to ask, I'm going to pass these out, which are awesome, because one of the questions I get almost every week is, what can I do to help? I have a five-minute thing that all of you can do to help, and it doesn't cost you anything. It really takes five minutes of your time. That's it. How many of you shop on Amazon? Or work for companies that shop on Amazon? Amazon has this really cool thing called Amazon Smile. It's smile.amazon.com. You can look this up, check it out. And what you can do, here, anybody who shops on Amazon, I'll give you one of these. What you can do is you can go to smile.amazon.com, and any company that Chris. is registered with Amazon as a federally licensed nonprofit, they have to go through a vetting process. Did you want one? You want yeah, one. that's okay. Any, anybody who's, uh, any nonprofit that's like legit, you have to be checked out here, can sign up on here. And what you do is when you shop on Amazon, instead of going to Amazon.com, you go to smile.amazon.com. And Amazon donates like half a percent of their profit to whatever charity you choose. And this is just a simple little card that shows you how to go on there and choose us. So every time you go shopping on Amazon, we get like half a nickel. <laughs> but if you do this where you work, because a lot of companies buy a lot of like office supplies and stuff on Amazon, and a lot of people do serious shopping on Amazon, at the end of the year that adds up. And if we get half a penny from you, and half a penny from you, and half a penny from you, it all adds up. And right now there's so many people doing this just for the geek group that we make about $300 every couple months. I would like to get that number up significantly, and the way to get that up is passing out these cards. Because most people don't even know this exists. And if you give people a way to support a local nonprofit that doesn't actually take any effort, doesn't cost anything, you only have to set it up one time. And then just remember to go to Smile. That's it. Instead of regular Amazon, you go Smile on Amazon. That's it. That's all that changes. And all the prices are the same. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's a really cool, easy system. And we learned about this, so I printed up a whole bunch of flyers and I'm passing these up. All right, so who wants to kick it off? You want to know? Really? I've never done this and had it be this season. There was a recording studio in process last time I was here. It's still in process. Um, it's waiting on the next step because we have to do it one step at a time. The next step is installing the mechanical rubber in the walls. It's called sheet block. It costs a fortune. And we can't do anything until that goes in because there's, then you have to put on drywall and paint and all that. So it's a $10,000 problem that's just waiting. And when were you here last? When did you see it last? Oh, then a lot's happened since then. Yeah, if it's in the past year, then a lot's happened. I can take it back and show you. Um, the walls are up. It's all framed in. The first layer of drywall's on and sealed. Uh, the floors are ready to go, and we're just waiting on sheet block. I need to raise about ten grand to do it. And there's an active fundraiser in the IRC. You see right here, recording studio campaign. And there's a thing if people want to donate to it. But to do anything in there, I have to raise all the money to do that step. So we're it's just waiting. So that's what's up with that. Next question. You can ask anything you want. Anything to do with the geek group or how we do things or why or how to be a member or any of that stuff. What do you want to know? How'd you guys get this building? We bought it. What's the story behind finding it? It's a good spot. Um, it had sat empty for a number of years. It was really bad. Um, when we got the building, it had no electricity, no heat, no air conditioning, no running water. It was bad. Um, it was the YMCA originally, this is the original West Side Y, which is why we get people in here every week that walk in over like, I learned how to swim right over there. I get that every week. Um, then it was a skate park for a while, and they destroyed the place. And it was kind of a weird church for a while, and a youth center, and a couple other things, and then it just died. Uh, the last thing it was, was when Hurricane Katrina hit, this was set up as a FEMA relief site for Katrina victims to come to. And they spent a lot of your tax dollars and did all kinds of really cool upgrades to the building. And then it never happened. And all the upgrades they did just got left to rot. So it, all the upgrades were destroyed. Like they installed four brand new giant water heaters, like big 200 gallon water heaters. Mm -hmm. And they left them full with no heat in the building. So they just froze and they split right now. There's blog video of all of it. The video that she's shooting right now, yeah. we shoot a video of that every day. If you go back to 
January 2011, you can see the really early stuff of what the building was like, and it was really, really bad. Wow. So that's the original, but how we got it is I called the number on the realtor side and said, I want to buy your building, and the landlord was pretty cool, and said, I'll give you six months to get your feet in here. So we got six months with no rent, and we hit the ground running. Right now, we're buying an online contract, so it's not rent, but it's like a mortgage for a dude, and we pay right around four thousand dollars a month. I think forty-six something a month. Okay. Is our our land contract payment? We'll probably have a real mortgage within a month, though. unless you know somebody wants to donate about seven hundred thousand dollars, and then we'll just pay it off, and be really cool. So yeah. So you guys don't own the land or the building yet. We own it, but we're paying it off. Gotcha. It's like a rent-to-own kind of thing, like yes. a mortgage. We own it. It's just not paid off. So, but we've been doing this since we moved in December 28th, 2010. We've never missed a payment. We have like absolute perfect payment history. So, which is impressive for a nonprofit. Guys like you. It's it's not, it's companies that donate. All of the names on that wall are companies that sponsor. And around the corner here in the stairway, there's a million little tiles with names on them. Those are all people like you. And it doesn't matter if they donate 20 bucks or 20,000 dollars, their names are the one. And you can't tell by like how big they are or anything, they're, they're all the same, anybody who donates. Um, we get a lot of members, and to be a member it costs a whole 20 bucks a month, that's it. Last year it was 40 bucks a month to be a member, this year we cut the price in half because we could. Um, and it's growing. We have 25,000 members all over the world. We have members in over 160 countries, which is kind of cool. Like when you walk in the big MBA room and you look up and there's all those flags, we didn't buy any of those flags. People like you just sent them in. They're like, hey, I live in the Isle of Man, I'm going to send you a flag. So we have an Isle of Man flag, which is the coolest flag in the room. Is there other centers We have other buildings, um, and we call them chapters, and we're looking to add a lot more of them. Uh, it's We're using the exact same model that the Girl Scouts use for how to establish satellite chapters so that we can give more people access to more tools and help them make more things. That's the idea. It's all about getting people to realize that work isn't a dirty word and that the guy who invented this isn't some kind of genius god. That you can make things. And if you can make one, you can make a hundred. If you can make a hundred, you can make a company. If you can make a company, you can make a living. You can make a difference. And that's what I want to do is help people learn how to make stuff. I want to help him grow up to be an engineer. So that's that's the whole focus here. Is all the tools, all the stuff that you guys saw today, is here for you to use. You can come here and build anything you can imagine. That's the entire idea. Go. So when when we join, uh, if you're a probie member, like new member, uh, it's from like 10 a.m. to about 7 p.m. six days a week. Once you're not a probie member, once you're checked out, you're safe, and we know that you're not here to steal stuff or be a total muppet, and that we can trust you with power tools, it's 24-7. I had a gentleman here last night until midnight making big party games for like his daughter's 16th or something. I don't know what it is, but he was making like a big Wheel of Fortune thing, and a plinko board. He was here till like midnight. Are you, um, you going to get a laser cutter? Oh, God, yes. We already have a laser engraver. Um, and a laser cutter is coming, like a big laser cutter, like a four-foot table laser cutter. Okay. What's, what's our idea now? Uh, we have a little baby one. But like, if you want to do jewelry and stuff like that, you can you can laser engrave it. I've got a guy working on it right now. And uh, what are you going to get? Huh? What are you going to get? Do you want to donate seventy-five thousand dollars? <laughs> do that. I'll have one in two weeks. Um, short of that, it'll happen when it gets here. Probably this year at some point. I don't know where you went exactly. That's the joy of running a nonprofit. I don't get to dictate times. Well, I do actually want to make jewelry, but I also have to get it set There's other ways to do it than with a laser cut. We have we have a giant sheet router. And you'd be hard pressed to find things that you can do on a laser cutter that you can't do on a sheet router. It's just a different technique. It isn't, you don't need a laser cutter, you need to cut parts. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So well, Yeah. We have you. If you can think of it, you can make it in this building. 
We have God class licenses for Mastercam, Adobe, anything. If anything you need to get from in your head to in the computer to in your hands, we can do it. Yeah, I had a picture. You're halfway there. I won't do it for you, but I'll help you learn how. You got to be willing to put the work in. You don't need seventy-five thousand dollars. I'll make parts to you all day long. <laughs> Go. Are all the things in the gift shop made handmade by? They're all made here. It isn't like we chisel the cups out of granite or something. We buy a blank cup and we do all the dye separation bringing in. The cool thing about the gift shop is when you walk through the gift shop, it doesn't oh hey I can buy this thing. Think of it as, hey, they have mugs, and they printed on those mugs. I could print on a mug. You can come here and put your face on a mug, or anything you want. Yeah, you can do that. I, I, I made mugs as presents. I, I, I made a couple friends' mugs just a, a few weeks ago for Valentine's Day, and, and I made like I made mugs. I got in Adobe Illustrator and I did the writing and the pictures and all that. It's pretty cool. I made one for my mom. See? And you can do t shirts and mugs and anything you see in a gift shop. It's all made here. In fact, by the end of the year, you can even crush a quarter with electromagnetic energy. The, the shrunken quarters in here, we're going to be making another batch by the end of the year. Next question. No problem. In this building, you can build whatever you can afford. Um, today, I am making the world's first EDF jet-powered street luge. It's like an eight-foot skateboard you lay down and go like that. And if you, at the same time, wanted to come in and work on your fire truck, I have a bay big enough. I know this because we have a fire truck. It's parked in the parking lot. You, you could bring your fire truck in and work on it indoors in the morning. There's, it's as big as you want. That's, we've never had a problem with something being too big. We've had problems with people being bringing giant projects in and not taking them home. <laughs> I have no problem giving you a place to work on your project. I have a problem housing your project when you're not here. If it's a kind of thing where I need to leave this here for a couple of days, or you know, overnight while it dries and I'll pick it up tomorrow, or I'm working on it every day for two weeks and it's kind of big and I'm just going to leave it here, that's cool. But if you just if you're like, I'm going to work on this today, and then I'll be back in a month, and I'm, no, no. <laughs> yep. If, as long as you're actively working on it, it's not a problem. Next question. We can actually help you get really good deals on most materials. Um, but we have a lot of stuff here you can buy. In fact, there's a big room right under this room filled with stuff. And it's just basic pieces, parts. Um, and if, if we don't have it in stock, we usually know where to get it. And for a lot of stuff, like if you needed big sheets of plastic that you can't just go to Home Depot and get, we know all the plastic supply houses. They only sell, like, when you get up to that level, most places only sell to companies. They don't sell to private individuals. So we have accounts with them, and you can order it, and we'll do it through our account, and they'll send it here on a big truck, and we can unload it with a forklift, and it helps people out a lot. Because you can't have, like, a giant freak ship into your house. It won't work. So we help out people out with that a lot. In fact, I have a gentleman doing that next week with a big table saw. He's buying a table saw for his house, but it's coming freight and he needs a forklift, and we're going to take it off the semi truck and put it on his trailer. So we do that kind of stuff all the time. You can even come here and learn how to drive a forklift. Go. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. That, that was a baby thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Do you. Um, I was waiting for you yeah. to ask something. Do you have. Like, there's a certain learning curve to some of this stuff. There's a hell of a learning curve to some of this stuff. And I can talk to learn CAD, SolidWorks, and stuff. If you haven't used CAD since college, yeah. you're starting from scratch. For your big learning curve to some of this stuff. And so, like, I wanted to, do you have any classes that have a job for We do a little bit, but we only create a class when there's enough people to justify it. For everything else, like, if you want to come here and learn JavaScript, we'll help you learn it. But it, my job is to make sure you're on the path and to help you not waste a bunch of time. But I won't sit down with you and hold your hand. 
You know, we do do classes for a lot of things, but we only do a class when there's enough people to just, you know, if we get a half dozen people that want to learn JavaScript, we'll do a class. But if it's just you, we'll help you. We're not just going to throw you to the wolves. It's okay. Next. How far are you? 3D what? 3D printing? A lot. We have the largest fleet of 3D printers you're going to find in the state of Michigan. And uh, you can come here and 3D print anything. And there's no size limit on it because the, the printer might only do like a 4 inch cube or a 1 foot cube max, but you can sand it and glue it and stack them together. So you can 3D print that table if you wanted to. It'd be kind of dumb, but you can 3D print that table if you wanted to. We've had people do things like if you wanted to 3D print an entire suit, like an Iron Man suit or something like that, you can do that. You just glue the pieces together. Go. Um, how old is this place? How old is this place? 21 years old. Well, the building dates back to the 50s, but the geek group goes back 21 years. We started in 1994. That's like three of your lifetimes, I guess. Any other questions? Have you guys always had property like this? At some point, like have you guys like a building? Yeah, you're from 1994, but have you? Always in '94, we had 26,800 square feet of Ionia Street, 344 Ionia. Okay. Um, we have, at various points in our history, had 15,000 square feet on Pitcher, 82,000 square feet on Second, somewhere around 12 to 15,000 square feet on Shippers, 17,000 square feet. I can't remember the street. <laughs> and in our very early days, we were packed into two dorm rooms at Grand Valley. Cool. Um, and if you're if you're familiar with Grand Valley and you know uh, Grand Valley Apartments, sure. We uh, Lake Building. You know how they're all named after counties. Mm -hmm. Lake Building Apartment Four. We were there once too, back around 1995. So yeah. Good. Right now, this is 43,000 square feet, and if I had tripled this building today, I could have it full by my birthday, May, the end of May. No problem. We, our only limiting factors are funding and space. And the cool thing is, though, funding isn't as big a limiting factor as it could be. Like, right now, for us to do everything we want, full bore, rah, 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 $5 million, it, which is about what like the Komen Foundation spent on post-it notes this year. <laughs> so we're really we're a very very lean and inexpensive nonprofit. To do everything we ever dreamed of, twenty million dollars, and with twenty million dollars we'd have a campus here and create five hundred jobs. Like it's not expensive to do what we're doing. It's just really hard to fund. Mm -hmm. um, our funding needs today bare minimum without adding any new staff, just the staff we have, which is very small. Um, our budget right now is about $1,000 a day. Just to do what we're doing costs $1,000 a day. Wow. Yeah. And you take into account that membership's only 20 bucks a month. Yeah. You need a lot of members to pay bills. And that's local members, because the guys that are members in Azerbaijan aren't paying 20 bucks a month, because they're not, they're not here, they're not facility members. So sure. I need right around 2,000 people like you that sign up and become members, that are here getting involved doing stuff. And at 20 bucks a month, that's easy to do. That's Taco Bell one day a week to have access to every tool you can imagine. So it's a really sweet deal. That's why we cut the price of membership in half. Huh. You guys have 2,000 members? Huh? Are we at 2,000 members? For Not locally. Okay. So we're well below our saturation point. And it's just getting the word out there. And the thing that we ask of all of you guys is come get a tour and tell the truth to everybody you can. Just say, hey, there's this cool place, you can check it out. Is that it? Any other questions? Cool. Then this is what you need to know. Membership is 20 bucks a month. If you're interested, cool. If not, that's okay too. If you want to sign up, go over there and that wonderful six foot blonde in the next room will take care of you, as will that lovely woman back there. Okay? Thank you, everyone, for coming and seeing our secret sauce. And now I will get those who came late, I will get you a tour. Because I don't think you're, you're the only ones. Thank you. What is her name? Libby. Hi, Libby. <laughs> she was awesome in that video. Like, ah, I loved it! I was like, I like that. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do Time is 15, 18 hours. Yeah. So is there a 
So the gamer crowd is uh, is doing pretty well. Yeah, that's why I went with that HP 60 Pro. It's supposed to be like really nice though. The one that you plug right in. Captain to editor, come in please. Can you come up to the lobby real quick, please? from in this building? Yes. Then I gotta ask where you get it from. The cable that I use, it turns out it's one of the combo XLR video cables. Yeah. It's got three yeah, yeah. Two yeah. video. That's what I use. We have longer ones that I'll have to cannibalize. From? One of the schools. Oh, that's fine. The big metal reel one. Yeah. Like the, one of the ones in the van. That's fine. We got like five of them in the van. If it's long enough and it does the job, we're going to have to run it in conduit. We can't just run it naked, so you'll have to terminate the ends out there. Because that cable isn't anywhere near outdoor rated for, like, it's fine outdoors for a day, but not for, like, a year. Okay, destroy the, the cable. end of the controller is just screwed on the back. Okay, so that's easy. But we're going to have to run it through conduit. It could be basic plastic conduit, it doesn't have to be a metal conduit, but you've got to have a UV shield. 
So, all right. I'll work on that Tuesday. All right. Is this really a thing? But all right, it's five millisecond delay. Shut the fuck up. Your brain can't even register a five millisecond delay. That's like nothing. Maybe I'm just old. My brain can't register. I mean, if it. The only place I've ever dealt with delays like that actually messing with people is performing music. It can be an issue. I don't know. What do you got? Pecs? That is a dumb idea. I thought that's what you said you wanted to do. No, you wanted, I wanted the wire inside in, oh, a tube. Inside the tube. This has to be mounted to something because you're going to have lots of wires going into mm. it. Mm. Good thing I just did hot glue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is a dumb idea. So what else we got going on? Cool. We'll have to test rotation before we mount them in. But because we can plug and unplug them, that's pretty easy to do. And no, we can mount it in and then, then all your things are the right length. And we can and leave a like a service loop in the tube. Mm -hmm. um, because we have to test rotation. Well, but to change rotation, service. we just got to swap any two. It's a three-phase motor. Not a whole lot for a service loop in there. Not with this gauge. Just fold up a little bit. Go like three inches forward, three inches back. Fold it over. You'll be fine. That's all you need. We. I'm excited. All right, we're going to have to do better on that, but... Give it to me. I got it. Let me be the guy who breaks the receiver. There's 1.5 feet. 1.5 I don't want to know. I don't know. What are you doing? What you're doing. What, what are you doing? What the hell are, are you doing? Tape off our connection so it doesn't. Don't tape them off yet. As long as they're not arcing, we're, we're going to have to. It is very likely we're going to have to take these and unplug them from this end and put them back in. So they're not going to be color-coded to match our controller? It doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. Especially since you have different colors. Well, one, only one's a different color. Yeah. The only difference is it's a yellow instead of a white. All right, then match them up to the colors and see what you get, and we'll hope they go the right way, but it's entirely possible they don't, and if they don't, we just swap any two wires. But we can try. Give it a shot. Match them up to start. But we're going to have to solder. We're going to have to... For initial testing, we could just crimp. For the final Jason, version, I want to solder and heat seal. Heat shrink right now. All right, we'll just use the good buck. Can it, we'll use these. Just, just crimp it to test. That's enough to test. What you doing? I was going to let you do it. All right. Started talking. Liberal with the hot glue there. Well, yeah, I didn't want it to fall off the thing. Alright. So, what, we just put that on the plate and then just have the antenna cord go up the. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and it really isn't that big a deal. Um, what I would have done is just a little piece of plastic, something. Just mount this anywhere, really. Okay. It's fine. Not, not like this, because right. heat. Heat sink. But we can mount this just about anywhere. Okay. Um, and this would be just fine here. Like that. Oh, okay. And then have the antenna go up and put a little a little tube or a little bit of plastic or something just to hold it up. Okay. And and you're cool. Okay. Um, understand that this is 2.4 gigahertz, so mm -hmm. that is an antenna. Yeah. And this is an antenna, that little bit. Okay. This in between is a feed line. It's to be okay. able to get them far apart from each other. Okay. But we're going to have to plug. Yeah, I know. I remember how to plug it in. Yeah. So, but we're gonna, I'm going to put it on this end so it's not right on your head. What? This The thing? antenna. Because if you put it right here, oh, it's okay. going to be well, sticking up in your head. But that's going to plug into there. And one of these, doesn't matter which, yeah. they're both the same. But these are the power for this, which is yeah. why we need one. I, I paid attention the first okay. time you showed it. And uh, it just goes right in here. Focus, you bitch. camera. 
wants to go there. Right. Which is kind of weird. Hmm. Maybe it's different on this end. Huh, I don't know. I'll fire it up and see. But I'll work it out. Right. But yeah, this is gonna. And if you put this here, if you if you sticky this in here, you've got enough length on these to get that yeah. in there too. It's, it's gonna go this side though. Over here. Yeah. Because your right. head's gonna be right there. So. All right. Then yeah, you'll be fine. All right. I would bring this just so the antenna comes around just past the end, and then you're cool. All right. All right. All right. Cool. And you can totally hot glue this okay. back to there. That that's totally acceptable. You could use this for either side. Oh, that's cool. So you don't have to have hey, to uh, punch it. Yes. I gotta let them show you. Remember the other day we yeah, painted yeah. this? Yeah. Well, I've been waiting for you to come back. Well, it it's was been a like, Saturday. It's been like a whole week. We're well, it's Saturday on again. Sundays. <laughs> okay. So when you peel off this, now all we do is spray paint this side with a metallic paint, right? Right. So now. Peel off this side, and we didn't do anything special to it. We just took a, a sheet of acrylic and painted it. But now, That's to get on. it's it's a bit of a job. Now you have a really cool, like it's a mirror finish thing. And cool. It's a little you can kind of see through it a little bit. Yeah. Like if you put a light behind it. Neat. It's a really I, I learned this in building custom computer cases like a million years ago. So yeah, it works really well. And it gives you like a mirror finish that's like it's a shiny finish but it's like a foot thick and it's really good. So useful engineering. Now you have to make something cool out of this. I've made you a beautiful piece of raw material, you have to go do something cool. Try and make your keychain again. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. What? Good crimp, EJ. bad crimp. One's good, one's bad? Oh, it's, it's okay. Good touch, that's, bad touch. Squeeze it, real good hold the wire. Crimp. That's a good crimp. That's a good crimp. This is, but this is a really good crimp. This is just a... Oh, okay. As long as it passes the tug test. That's that's the rule. Yeah. Okay. Just the difference in hardware. Okay. What you doing, Mr. Minkus? Making any progress? Trying to. Did your your custom part idea work? Yes. Yeah. Ish. Pardon my fridge. Shit. Oh, that's me. Go ahead. I have your gift certificate. Give them to Matt, the guy running the uh, tournament up front. Okay. Like this is the official way to get these parts out of the pump. Like this is in a book somewhere? Well, I don't know if it's in a book, but it's a guy that used to rebuild the pumps. Yeah. On a forum who is now no longer with us. You've been reading forums on this project? Hey. You're that deep into this? I'm beyond deep. Hey, I got a nice cushion to sit on up here and do this. Hey, it does stuff! I've never seen it do that much before. What did it do? It just squirted shit everywhere, didn't it? Look at that. I don't hear anything coming out, but I hear it like trying to... Sounds like oil and air coming out an orifice. Yeah. I'm an authority on this. When it comes to squirting lube out of an orifice, Oil I've, air. Nice. I've been there. Don't make fun of me, man. I needed the ride. Hey, that trucker <laughs> really loved you. That trucker really loved you.
So you're trying to shoot oil out the bottom? No, I'm trying to shoot. Or? There's a. There's a. You remember me sh showing you the thing that I was gonna have Casey? Yeah, a little valve bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, trying to shoot that out right now. Oh. I didn't hear anything like it didn't it didn't out. even move so Ooh. close that was a different sound did you reverse polarity or something yeah oh, okay. okay so oh. blue goes to negative one um, but I gotta figure out where it's leaking because if it's leaking it's not building the pressure to push it out all the way okay so come on let go That happened earlier. That's main kiss in action. I, I was sitting here and the the spring clip that goes in there. Yeah. Didn't see it all the way. So it just like popped Ooh, out. Hit the bucket <laughs> over there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fortunately, I was over. On yeah, the I'm glad you weren't in the way. bottom one is loose yeah because when I tap that back in as I throw things around everybody's over there working on the cool stuff I just get the, the you could the, be working on the cool stuff if you want no because if I was working on that then I wasn't working on this and yeah, this but, wouldn't be getting done, and then springtime would come, and nobody would be able to have fun, and everybody would be like, we hate you, Minka! Well, the good side is, come springtime, you get to borrow the boat. Yay! <laughs> Probably for the not maiden voyage, but shortly thereafter, because what the fuck did you do? Oh no, you can totally take it out for the maiden voyage. Safety first, Minkus, you try out the new boat. And next time the weather sucks and we have to have a couple days of just chill indoors like Batman and Bruce need to heal, we got to sling this and patch the holes in the bottom. That doesn't sound like fun. It's not that bad. We, we did it on the other boat. <laughs> Why are you still peeing? Oh wait, it's out far enough I can grab the players now. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I'm, but I'm having, I have a feeling that this one has the same issue that the other one had. So, okay. got the same fix, same material. You've had to do this twice now? This is the second one I'm going to have to do now. Okay. Where's the first one? On the other side that works. It's it's in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it okay. Cool. Do it. I'm just getting video. I, I gotta go get players that'll oh, work to get okay. it out. So. Alright, we'll we'll be back. So I'm going to bolt conduit clamps on this that will just clamp right onto your uh, 
Cool. Street letters and that should be. That's an excellent more idea. Than The amp ratings for stuff in the RC world freak me out. Yeah. It's a 100 amp thing, right? It's 100 amps. Five and we amp. know these motors draw... 5 amp. Huh? That's the BEC. The 100 there means 100 amps. BBC. BEC, battery elimination circuit. But the, uh, the motors draw 87 amps. We know this. We've measured this. And we're running the motors on 10 gauge wire. <laughs> And because that's what the motor wants, draws 87 amps on 10 gauge wire. I'm like, okay. That looks sexy as fuck. I like it. See, you should have done a venture. I thought bit. about it, but I don't. I don't know. Do we really gain that much by, like, no, no, thrust wise? No, no, no. Actual. Well, you just put a reducing coupling on the bag. Yeah, that's Design a venture. Turn something on the lathe. Yeah, case. I'm busy trying to fix your boat. Okay, you fix a boat. Main kiss. Hey. I paid for every tooth on that saw. You want the pain off your... I think you can. No. I'll teach you how to I know how to... Back off, kid. You bother me. You're only a year older Angle. than me. Yeah. You learn a lot in that you. <laughs> <laughs> Like how to use, I spent that whole year learning how to use a hacksaw properly. How See? about that? Look shit? at that. See? Well, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, me. Yeah. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> That's the shit I put up with all day, every day. Could be worse. Entertainment value? True. Oh, hey. These are the battery leads mm -hmm. that have to go, they have to end up in his tube. So, just so, those are the leads. Okay, and it's just same 10 gauge. Do match the colors. Do you do like a, like a plasma cutter as well? How big a plasma cutter do you need? I don't know, I'm just... Mayor. <laughs> figuring, it, figuring it out. This is Mike, he's our head jam. Yeah, hi, I'm Mike Jablonski. Kyle How you doing? Brand. Cool. Um, that is our plasma cutter. Okay, but not a, not a CNC plasma cutter. Actually, that was a CNC plasma cutter. It now it's just a portable box. Beautiful. Uh, CNC plasma cutter happens next year. Not this year. Okay, this cool. year, laser cool. cutter. CNC laser cutter. Beautiful. Next year, plasma cutter. Huh? Maybe this year. Depending on funding. Yeah. Do you want to donate $150,000? Uh, not, not today. Okay, then CNC plasma cutter is not happening today. That's fair. You donate 150 grand, I'll have one in three weeks. All right. Okay. Well, that just covers the machine. Yeah. It doesn't cover the installation, the hood. The yeah, but the trade-off is you donate right. the machine, you get to use it all you want free. <laughs> all right. You donate and, and waive the installation fees then? We'll handle that. Okay. I got people for that. Yeah. That, that Bruce can handle that. Yeah. Totally. Right now they're working on making a... Uh... They're making a jet-powered street luge. All right. Come here, take a look at this. I can handle that. We're using EDF Jets, okay. which is an electric ducted fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a, mm -hmm. a turbine on the yep. front here. Yep. 87 amps in that little motor. It runs on a giant brick of a battery. And uh, <laughs> this mounts to the street luge over here. That thing back there. Big skateboard looking thing. So this is the luge, yeah. and uh, that team is working on the assembly will hang off the back here. Okay. And then that gentleman over there is Batman. Yeah. He's working on the battery module that will hang under here between the rider's legs. Okay. And it's 
basically hooking two big hair dryers to a skateboard. Yeah. With science. It's a fun time. Does it fit? Have you been successful twice? Oh Does it God. fit? Yeah. Do I need to uh, I need to do more to it because I gotta mushroom out the ends a little bit so it sits in there a little tight. So then I can stake it in and then I can cross drill and if you want to mushroom the ends out a little bit, use a, like a big drift punch. Like something like this, but bigger. I wouldn't use a flat end. I'd use a, use a pointy end and then they spread out a bit. We've got the same thing with points on it. Like Valerie's Hyman. You know about Valerie's Hyman? Look up. You know who Hugh Laurie is, right? The guy who played House? Yeah. Okay. He is... Before he did House, he did a British comedy show. Okay. There's a string of similar British comedy shows. Like, Hugh Laurie did a thing with... Uh, it's Fry and Laurie, and it's funny as hell. Um, there's a whole string of these that go back for generations. Okay. Do you remember the 80s movies? Uh, there was a couple of them. Arthur? Yes. Okay. The guy who played Arthur... Okay. did a comedy series and I don't remember the name of the other guy but one of the bits they do is called Valerie's Hymen look it up on YouTube it's terrifying it's funny as hell but terrifying in British and yeah look that up Valerie's Hymen and it's it's the guy who played Arthur it's, what was his name? I can't remember the guy's name Roger Moore? no 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 that's no, 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 Bond no, no, um, Dudley Moore. Yeah, Dudley Moore. Dudley Moore. I wonder if he's related to Roger Moore. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> or Gordon Moore. Who's Gordon Moore? Who's Gordon Moore? Gordon Fisherman? No. He... Similar guy. <laughs> similar guy. Did did start a company. A um, little bit bigger company than, than Gordon Gordon's. Moore. Huh? No, you don't... None of you guys know who Gordon Moore is? Oh my god. There's a lot of Gordon's apparently. I'm just gonna let the blog comment and make all of you its bitch. Okay. I feel like I should know that. You really should know who Gordon Moore is. I'm awful with names, so I'm like, but yeah, it rings a bell, but if I can remember context, that's great. Comment away. Enjoy yourself. You know what you need for that? Hmm. You need an animal. If only we had one. We do. I don't know where somebody Somewhere. put it. It was on the floor last night. It was right around here. It, it never travels far. It weighs too much to travel terribly far. It's not that heavy. Maybe for you. Hey, I'm doing my push up now. I'm like practically ripped. Yeah, I am underneath all this cushion. Okay, that's a valid point. You got five different wire strippers on a table in front of you, and this you're doing this. This particular insulation does not play well with wire strippers. Doesn't play well with strippers? Oh, it's silicone. Yes. Nice. This works much better. Okay, if it makes you happy. It makes I, just, me happy. I just want you to be happy. Bruce is happy, the world is happy. Hey, hey, hey! No! Hell no! See the little nub sticking out inside there? Yeah. 
that wire needs okay. to go all the, the way down to yes, the nub. the silicone is going to push back. It pushes back that much? Because the silicone should not pass no, beyond the metal. No, it does not. Okay, silicone up to the metal, wire up to the nub. You've done every one that way, right? Because I'm concerned right now. This is, this is where I have the moments, like we have to take them all apart. Did, okay, because, oh my god. Oh my god. I've had problems like this before. And not like once back in, in 89. No. Like I've yeah. had problems like this yesterday. Because right. we teach people about electronics. Yes. Okay, show, show me how you do it. I'm going to watch. Nope. 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 One will take a little bit more. Okay. Because if you crimp down anything in there on the silicone, you get a flakety, yeah. sparkety, yeah. self heating joint. And it'll remove the silicone all on its own. But it takes a lot to get silicone to burn. And it's less than it takes to get the plastic around it to burn. Okay. Not that we have any experience with this. None at all. But. I, I have a PhD in how to burn down electrical things. Okay, I'm very, very experienced at this. If you want to find a way to set shit on fire using wires, I'm your guy. Totally. Okay. So if you look in, you can see it's down to the nub. It is down to the nub. I'm trusting you, Bruce. I'm believing in you. But I just want you to know, for safety, Katie's going to test drive the street loop initial power up test. No, oh, keep in mind, I was a boy scout. Okay, I just want you to be aware. You're going to kill the children. Okay, if you screw oh, this up, she is, dies. I was no, a boy scout. Okay. We set things on fire. Oh, there is that. How are we going Minkus in it first? No, Minkus is going on the boat first. Yeah, Minkus All does right. the boat first. Besides, my bad ass went for the boat. It's over there. My bad ass went for the boat. 716's wrench. Really, logically, it makes sense to have Jim test the luge first. Obviously. I mean, just from a purely logical, who's pragmatic Jim? standpoint. Yeah, who's Jim? It's Tim. 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 With a T. I keep calling him Jim. I was wondering who's like, it's okay. Who the fuck's Jim? You're getting up there in your... <laughs> hey, you know, that, that, that's all right. I was just thinking we should have him test the luge first, not account of he's the one, statistically, it's going to die first. So <laughs> yeah. he's got the least to live Calling for. him Jim yeah. is better than what Batman called him. It's Tim. Yeah. That's Tim. I said calling him Jim. It's Tim. I know it's Jim. Tim. It's Tim. I know. Bald, bald motherfucker. Bald, 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 bald. <laughs> bald, bald motherfucker. That's what it was. That's me. <laughs> a little bit. Chris is behind you. A little bit. I just reason. thought you were going for the hillbilly chic. <laughs> There's a reason I don't have to. You can that. be bald and sexy. Okay, Tim's rocking it. He's doing just He's, fine. He owns it. You, no, not you've got like this. You do too much more. Bruce you've never you seen. Homeless. You've never ever seen Ozark. Ozark like chic just doesn't happen. And I've been out to the bars in the backwoods. You can tell. Arkansas. You can. You don't have you to go to the American right South. Just go to the UP. Well, that <laughs> yeah, but that's just home. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've ridden my motorcycle out, you know, north of 10 mile and ended up on property of guys that look like you and they're the exact people that you think that say, you ain't from around here, are you? You got no, it's the Jason is you off with the 12 pound cannon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They walk up and they're like, you got yourself one of them metric bikes. I ride a Honda. I know. I, mean, I, I understand, my, but my bike was built with wrenches, not chopsticks. Oh! But you meet the nicest people on a Honda. Yeah, but you have them. That's the actual ad I know, for my I know, bike. I know. <laughs> yeah, because it's breaking down all the time. Well, it's handy. Well, it has to run to break down. I'll bet you could get my bike to run. I don't know. My hands I don't know. You too, can't get the boat to fly. My hands so. are too big to fit in all those tiny spaces. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. 
Yeah, because you have to ask for a ride. You have lots of friends. Nice. There's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. See, I decided to come work at the table with the cool kids. Yeah? Now I'm going to go back to my hole. Okay. <laughs> under the boat? Yeah. It's not under the boardwalk, it's under the boat. Next week we get to patch fiberglass. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do the fiberglass. I know. <laughs> yeah. Is it shuttling now? It's not shuttling, but it's... Does that just plug the hole, or does that thing actually move? That thing plugs the hole. Okay. The shuttle valve inside shuttles back and forth. But I gotta get this far enough in to seat the spring clip. Because if you don't, it will leave in a hurry. Yeah. yeah. Well, this one will. This one will. This one shot across and hit the bucket after it peed on me. But now you've got, is there a spring clip on the other side? Yeah, I see that, but on the other one, is there a spring clip? Did you see me put it in? Not yet. Not yet, no. Okay. There's not one on there just yet. But there will be. There will be. Okay. Unplugging the holes, unplugging the holes. Yeah, I spent my own money on this project. You have a whole lot of little brass plugs there. I know. I went and bought them. Why, why do you need so many little brass plugs? To plug the ports, to use it to build the pressure, to shoot the valve out. Oh, okay. It was easier to just put a bunch of plugs in and use that to... Well, considering I had it at home and didn't have any of the lines in the cylinders or anything oh, like that, okay. yeah, it, it was a lot easier. Okay. Trust me, I'm Minkus. That's never gone wrong, ever. <laughs> ever. You know what I'm still thinking? What? Or I still know? You still owe me ice cream. Yes. Yes, I do. It was about this time, I think it was around this time of year. Oh, we gotta get you out for ice cream. You don't have to do it today. Well, Let's I do don't it. think they're open yet. I okay. think they don't open till like May. Well, we can wait till the summer. Huh? <laughs> they need adult super. Where did you lose the radio? You peeled it off, you put it in my hand, I don't remember from there. Oh shit. Alright. So you lost the radio for Bruce. It's all Chris's fault. <laughs> well Actually I don't remember you handing it like you peeled it off. I've got it on video. <laughs> All right, where the fuck did we put it? Watch that. <laughs> I placed it near where Bruce's right hand is. It's in his pocket. So use the brand new radio. They're duplicates. It doesn't matter. All right. Batman lost the radio. Yeah, just... So these are the spring clips? Yeah, Minkus took it! We don't have the right kind of spring clips. What do you mean? You just or used one on the other end. No, I didn't. That was the that original, came with it? That was the original stainless okay. steel one. These are outside spring clips? You need inside? Yes. There are inside spring clips in there. Uh, no. The picture says there are. The picture lies. Totally. Because... This is what they're calling inside. That's that's an outside. I know it is. But there is not a single inside one in here. And you absolutely need one right now, don't you? Where's the one you took out of there? Um, it got defiled. Okay. You're going to have to run up to Napa or something. They're open. See, it just barely Yeah, that's an outside. I know. I could turn it into a surplus. How about we go to Napa? What's this wee stuff? You're gonna send me. All right. How about you go to Napa? Fifty cents. Right? <laughs> spend fifty cents and buy a sprinkler that's the right size. <laughs> so yeah. God, you're messy. Look at the floor. I know you got oil everywhere. So much lube.
pink lube. Red. Looks pink. Red. Okay. It's red in there. It's red everywhere. Okay. It's pink in your hand. When you touch it, it turns pink. Pink lube. Only That's real, real men wear pink. Hey, I can't fault you on that. You should have seen my outfit on Valentine's Day. <laughs> what? You don't know this? No. Okay. Picture Neapolitan ice cream. Okay. okay. I'm with you, you so got far. Strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, right? Okay. Chocolate, strawberry. Where's the vanilla? No, it doesn't matter because you got two in the pink, one in the stick. Oh, see, I know the I know the shocker. That that yeah. That's the guy who needs to lift. Okay. And Tim's got his stuff in the way. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. Open the door. No, but I can put his car on it. Oh uh, yeah. Mouth full of smart ass. That's my whole day. Would you have me any other way? Nah, we love you. Next year was like, I was so sad. It was like, it was like, yo, you might be able to go home today. I was like, okay. I was like, no. They told me to go home. That's right. Turn it off. I'm mad as hell. I'm just taking a shot. I'm just taking a shot. Gotta work it out with sticky. Graph like this in Greece. Usually headlights go on the front. Yeah. A little balance. How's your thing working? Is it working? Show me. I haven't got it back together yet. Oh, I just okay. got back with the sprinkler. Okay. But you got one. It's yeah. gonna be okay. Yeah. Well, let's do the sprinkler. Oh, 402. Because they don't sell them individually at the auto stores. <laughs> Coochies was closed. Of course. Figured out what his problem was with his suspension. Yeah? Yeah. Driver's side uh, set and schmutz. Huh? Uh, the driver's side shack on the rear is coming off the bush. And oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Look at Stainless that. Stainless steel. New one. Beautiful. Aren't you there? Stainless steel. New one. It'll be fine. You knew what I meant now with us. Yeah. That's all that matters, right? It's going to last longer than, than the boat's going to be. It's going to it's gonna last longer than uh, you're going to have the boat. Yeah. Uh, yes. No. You need help getting out? I got it. All right. <laughs> Break you by, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Law of the land. So did you hear how he came to be here? Yeah, he came through with uh, Moss's class. Yeah. Yeah. Moss yeah. is a cool guy. We. You, you know. What, you know what the cool thing is? What? He said, "I don't got school on Friday. It's coming Friday." So he's bringing all his buddies down here to check it out. Totally cool. I know. Now he came through, he's one of Moss's students. Moss brings all of his students through here in big groups. He does it a few times a year. Every time he gets a new class together, they come through and tour. And hell, Moss was here yesterday. I was. Not. I was. I cleaned. Moss brought through a guy who's starting a company. Sweet. Doing stuff with foam. Foam? Yep. As in, like. As in custom die cut foam for wow. camera cases. Wow.
So you got stuff. That's a little bigger than we had. No, no, no. no. What I'm thinking is uh, trim it I, I down. Find caps, trim this down to the, the PVC cap as a, as a liner. Yeah. Okay. Because the pipes fit like, or the batteries fit like perfectly into the PVC. Do it. So just you're gonna trim this yeah, down to match though. So oh, right. like, yeah, that's cool. I was gonna trim it down, and then the caps will keep it from sliding around. All right. Cool. Up. Okay, takes through it. <laughs> See, that's the thing I don't like. Is it still slowly? It's got creep, so it's it's okay. It's holding, and it's not at the. Um, I could just need, I need It doesn't that. go up that fast, does it? No. Okay. <laughs> just, wow. Have you bled the system yet? It's self bleeding, but I gotta add fluid to it potentially. Oh, okay. We'll see. How do you keep from overfilling it? It's just like uh, filling a transmission or actually more like filling a differential or a uh, transfer case on a vehicle you just fill it till it starts weeping out the hole oh okay and right now it's not weeping out the hole It's weeping out the hole there. Yep. And so there's a little vent hole uh, in the cap, I'm guessing. Yes. So you can't overfill it, no matter what. It just, well, it you, just you, blow out the hole in the cap. You can, but if you do it right when you're filling it, you shouldn't have to worry. Okay. I mean, it, it, in all theory, think about it. If you fill it above the line and then try and put the cap in there, yeah, okay, it ain't gonna work. I just figured the cap had a vent hole in it, like the no. little orange cap. No, no, no. no. There is a little bit of one so that when you're going and you're taking it out, if it created a vacuum because there wasn't enough fluid in the system, it'll okay. allow it to do that. But. Oh, that was a lot harder so that should work better. See, cool. That's, that's all the way up. Okay. It's staying up on its own. Hopefully this doesn't drop like a rock again. But we'll see. Okay. Not quite as bad as last time, but hey. it's still pretty bad. But see, that's that's partly because it's ATF. As opposed to thirty weight oil. Do you want to use thirty weight oil? Does it want you to use thirty weight oil? That's the preference. It is. That's what I told you. I said you can use ATF. They say to use ATF if you're going to use in temperatures below fifty. Okay. On a regular basis. We're not. I didn't think so. And that's yeah. Why I said, anyway. <laughs> Let's try it the other way. Quiet, no push. It's not, it's not moving. Air in the fluid right now, so there's still air in the line. Oh, okay. So how do we fix that? We open, we add. Yep. We, okay. Okay, no. I thought it, there was a little bit of air, but I thought I saw it.
So much goop. But at least it's holding, which means, as far as leak down is concerned, the cylinders are good and the valves in there are good. I think you just got a bunch of air in it. Yeah. Yeah? Look how light, it, it's coming out pink right now. Okay. It it's should be pink, bright it's red. red. It's red. It's not pink. It's red. We, we, I know. We established but, that. Look, it's foamy, which means it's aerated. Keep rocking. <laughs> You're getting there. It moves one way. Won't go one up way, though. One way is better than no way. Yeah, All right. Cool. All right. So that's sorted. Now you. He's got the length good. So pull. We gotta know if the, our length is right. Well, the thing is, if the length doesn't fit this if, way, yeah, if it's, it's, I'm gonna let you play. All right, separate the ends. Oh. They are separated. You'll notice one's taped with. No, that end. I'm not worried about this. Oh, we have to buy uh, battery leads. You fucked up. A little bit. All right, you ready? Yeah. Loading a cannon. This is my boom tube. Okay, give me the next one. You need to push. Wait, it's totally safe. Oh. All right, they fit. Cap. Cap. Battery's loaded. Cool. It's good. All right, go ahead and pull them back up. We'll turn the well, that's a tricky one. Pull, pull that in. There's a bolt in There's it. There's a bolt in it? There's a bolt in it. So that if it does explode, it won't go right rocketing at your nuts. Yes. That's, 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 no, we've, called, we've planned for this. Which is why it's called the boom tube. Yeah. In, in the event of a catastrophic battery failure, it blows out the front, shooting fire, which will then envelop the entire rider. Which will look fucking to just dope on the camera. Totally. Ghost exactly. rider. <laughs> As opposed to having this thing just explode that way. So we have an uh, aluminum tube to contain you keep your fundamental issues. All right, terminate it. But it'll launch him at 150 miles an hour the other way when it shoots out That'd the back. Cool. Retro yeah. rocket, yo! <laughs> Brakes! Yeah! Brakes. It'll save my shoes. We're all set with the company when he dies, right? right? Hand me a couple more zip ties. Yeah, there's a plan in place for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his life is short. <laughs> we've, we've had that one worked out a long time now. Okay, just check in. Kid Will and I. Yeah. Good? Got there's, it. There's, Got there's a plan, an order yo. of succession, <laughs> there's a plan. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're, we're all good to go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> if, if I end up in charge, you know things ended up really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Kidwell has a letter in an envelope. The very first instruction is delete my entire browser history. So yeah, that's... and then the second thing is call up Tanner. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the first thing we do upon your death is simply set your computer off. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Just, just have a bonfire immediately in the MGH with this computer. <laughs> Just Which is very similar to the system in the event of my brother's death. Or my brother's death is to just take his entire workshop and set it on fire. However, because he's benevolent, we're all allowed to stand around his workshop <laughs> with fumes. So. 
He grows a lot of pot. I need that. Okay. You had mentioned that the other day. You mentioned right, a lot, so surprisingly. He's terminating. All we gotta do is terminate that. And then we missed it. And we're good. Yeah. This ends badly. So we know. Every, he unplugged everything. I know, but so we know which lead is. The best oh, you're marking the outcome right. on this Yeah, battery one. one There's no most mediocre outcome. Outcome. Yeah, it does matter that you have the leads from which battery going right. together to. Yes, but right. in this way we know. Okay, gray lead, gray lead. Do it. Gray goes to one battery. It might just make it interesting. <laughs> you know how to dance, right, Bruce? <laughs> ah! It's only 20. Ah, ah. It's only 20 volts. Hey, it's 100 amps. It's no big deal. <laughs> 100 so, amps. It's no big deal. Actually, <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we ordered these. Fuck up the motor leads. You have them on there already. <laughs> the problem is these are the well. I'm ready to be done with this shit. Katie, hand him the strippers and trims. You say we okay, like I had designed it. It was entirely <laughs> I okay. just see, like, the body. That's what I like about him. He can take responsibility yeah. when it's yeah, fully we'll, his fault. We'll, so we uh, <laughs> we will order some charging <laughs> leads. Okay. It's so a whole five dollars. Pick the right one this time. It's easy I, to I do. I just need that. Well, I send anything to Moose via email to order because I these know if I send that we it, crimped into it order. are the battery charging leads. So we have to take these out after we do the run, put oh. the other ends on them, and plug it into the charger. It's like that. So, totally smooth operation is what you're saying. Totally professional, smooth project. Everything's great. Watch it. You, this is, competition's oh. more entertaining. Okay, so I will do the first one here. Make your announcement before you yes. do the Looks test. Looks good. You'll, the, the first test is just on the saw horses here. I want to be here for Okay. When he's right in the, in the church parking lot, we'll announce it to the entire you. building. Because <laughs> you know, as soon as it's running, he'll want to go. Hospital, go to. I will. Nah. The thing I not like, as many the, stitches. The thing I'm liking about this is we don't know if this is only going to go five miles an hour or if it's going to go 100 miles an hour. Right. We have no way of knowing. It's complete, pure, just Perfect. experimentation. We have so no idea sure if this will work at all. This may not move at all. It's entirely possible. We wind this thing out, it doesn't move at all. To It'll which I will sound really so hard, cool I will going downhill by gravity. <laughs> glorified hair dryer. Yeah. As I said earlier, I feel like all we're doing is putting on like souped up one lawn leaf blowers on a wagon at this point. No, positive. From the peanut gallery. <laughs> no, we just we just start stacking them up. We got lots of units for it. We just keep layering it until it goes. I've then you look like video. one of those crazy... I've seen a video where they took like half a dozen of these and put them on an office chair. Mm. Oh, Did yeah. Did not work worth a shit. But an office chair has a huge friction cord. Like, just, yeah. it's Bear terrible. It design. doesn't really even have bearings on it. Well, it was a rolly chair. I've seen that same video. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah. this, we've got much, much lower rolling resistance. And those say that they give two and a half kilograms okay. of thrust. So there's each, our first one. That is excellent. Which is about ten pounds total, which should be plenty. Barking. So I think the other ones good. are probably going to be about about there, and we'll zip tie them together. Here. Okay. So right here, just no, don't, don't mark it. Just uh, if you agree, I'm going to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Fuck you. Cut it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Who's got the first one done? Yeah. We're halfway there. Uh huh. You're going to have to plug the back of your uh, batteries together, right, for a door? Yeah, I yeah. already he, did that. He has them out. I'm They're ready you, for man. you to go back there. in as soon as you're ready. Once you do your thing, I do the radio thing. All we got to do is well, bind Batman's got to do a zip tie thing. Yeah, that's not yeah. biggie. But really, we're bind and go. We're done with the strippers. Party's ah. over. The strippers are done. <laughs> he ran out of signals. <laughs> I have an interesting hate love relationship with those guys. Well, it, there's good ones and there's bad ones, and if you try to do the bad ones like the good Grim, ones, you really. Oh, wire. <laughs> I want to get to the emergency room before the before the rush. For the drunk hour. Yeah, yeah before Saturday. the drunk hour. It's yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. You already have the afternoon rush coming in. We're still early yet. Yeah. It's warm. They're still drinking. 
Dude, it was crazy you, by noon on Friday. You, you, you had you had all the uh, early you know drinkers the next in step already. Is for this. The dumb shit comes in. At the next dusk. fundamental step is is Kidwell and Sam do the throttle. Yeah. Then we got to put lights on. Because why not? We've already added enough weight to the goddamn thing. Totally new lights. Oh, the LEDs are on. We gotta figure out how to power it. You got two big ass batteries. Yeah, but it's all at 20 volts. Okay, you get some 20 volt LEDs. <laughs> I right. don't see what the problem is. Electrically, we're connected, right? Sure. Going hot. Hold on. <laughs> ah! First one. Dykes. You're supposed to pull before you use one, before flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a blinky light. Apparently these are loud. Tim's got the safe seat. Thank you. Okay. I'm leaving the cover off in case there's magic smoke or something. Okay? Yeah. All right. Throttle down. Throttle lock. To pull. You gotta pull your bind plug? The bind plug has to be in so that I can bind it. Oh, you had to bind it. I think we're bound. Okay. I was gonna say it again, but you just were really, like, oh, I know, and I was like, I don't want you to. No, you gotta, you gotta shut it down. I don't want you to yell at me. <laughs> Calibration thing I gotta do on a. On the, no one up here yet. Yeah. All right. I'm in on throttle, so now I gotta calibrate the ESCs. That was highly entertaining. This is either gonna work or be terrifying. Why not the bolts? about the car too. Yeah. No, I'm doing something wrong. There's an there's an initialization sequence. I know we're bound, so I'm cool there. Should we try to do only one order? Give me the big piece of paper. even better. It's held on. I threaded the bottom of it. <laughs> 9 16 bolt fit perfect. So that's how it's being held onto the unit strip. <laughs> Just had to hold the antenna up. I wasn't going to spend like an hour trying to make a bracket. It's blue like the best. There isn't a thing for just flashing red. It's just flashing red, and it's not beeping. There's no error code message for that. There's one for flashing green. <laughs> Danger, Chris Solid button. red. 
<laughs> alternating red and yellow, blinking yellow, and solid yellow. There is not one for just flashing red with no sound. Just kind of annoying. I know we're bound, because it's seeing me, so it's an ESC setting, but you read this and see if you can figure out something for binding the ESCs that I'm not doing. Yeah, we had a similar problem last time we tried one of these. Well, sometimes there's safety stuff, and with the ESC there's a thing where, like, with some of them you got to hold the throttle at a certain spot, yeah. and power it, and it's weird, so... It's like after it gets over a certain amperage, you're like, uh, oh, we're Gotta make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> the plug the plug on the radio can only go in one way. Correct? Yes, yeah. It only works one way. I'm guessing and these are using that uh, serial thing. And I'll double check that. Let's make sure it went in the right way. Batman, you may have got that. That's like the only thing I can think of. There we there go. We go. That's a sound. Oh. Are we turning the right way? Yep. All right. right one's spinning. Yeah, I only powered one up. Oh. But yeah, we had a little plug in back. <laughs> Is that turning the right way? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, for that one. <laughs> They're blowing. <laughs> All right, stuff Look at the air hose back. Right, I know. Moving the air hose. Behind yeah, it. Really? Yeah. yeah. On the, on the, see, on the lake. Shoot it across the MDH. Go gears! Oh no, gears are gonna hit all, but it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's working! It's working! Is it wobbling? It's not square though. Throttle inhibit isn't inhibiting. It should. <laughs> With the end of the hood. So he gets a little bit of a camera. He just keeps turning so like he's listing lazily to the right. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to start a new clip. Boom tube's loading! Oh, that, that's snug. It's, it's a snug fit. Alright. I'm going to blast shield with the PVC. Lifting only here, put it on the floor. We'll see if it moves under its own power. Alright, ready? Gears! And I'm gonna die. All right. Well, see, here's the thing. We'll put you on it and see if it works. And we'll put me on it and see if it works. And we... Oh God. I am now officially the world's first EDF jet luge test pilot. <laughs> EDF is right. 
I'm safe because I have my pretty pink ear protectors. So it's going to be okay. Don't mess with who sends that much power. Well, fuck now. I'm going to say yes. On the stick. Yep. How's it steering? Ah. Not good. Thank you, Minkus. Uh, this is, this is, this is I totally noticed how you hit the joystick to try and steer left. <laughs> this isn't the first time he's been on the street with the street loop. It is a street Yeah, exactly. That's something that wasn't accounted for. Well, he sat on a flat surface, not on a dippy surface. God. No. Someone someone get me a pair of earmuffs. Because here's the real question. Yes. <laughs> Inside on a perfectly right. flat. Hey, floor. hey, the cop just went by again. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a perfect the cop pulled by and he was like, <laughs> Chris, what do you weigh? Uh, 145 pounds. Okay. That was a good one. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I gotta say hi. <laughs> You want to ride? Call him the name of science. What is it? It's a jet powered street luge. It's basically, it falls in category of I know how I'm going to die. It's, it's, <laughs> anyone ride? He, he, yeah, he, he just, just did. On it. When you went bite on there, that yeah. was me. I want to see it again. Right. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs>
This is why I love the west side. So up front we've got a, a couple giant batteries. And on the back we have a pair of electric jet engines. They're EDF engines. And okay. it works like a radio controlled airplane. So. Wow. Yeah. So it's for this. The batteries are probably wearing down. So this is how he dies. You lost the motor, only one motor spinning. Oh no. I thought something smelled a little warm, but So, yeah, I was like, it's way wheedly now. We lost the motor. We lost the motor somewhere along the line. How fast That's can it. you get it going otherwise? Huh? How fast could you get we it going? Just, I don't know. I we just made it. I literally <laughs> well, just yeah, finished we, it. You just saw the first test. Okay, cool. He was, he was coming back. Oh, we're blocking way. traffic. It's actually downhill this way. He probably, I'd say, a good 7 to 10 miles an hour easy. No, I had it up to about 15. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Have go. a good night. <laughs> Best top reaction ever. Oh, I'll see you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to figure out why we lost the motor. Maybe a plug came undone. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping is. When it hit a car. <laughs> <laughs> I tried! I tried! I tried! It's okay, it's just that. Is everyone in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> get on the radio now and tell editor he has this potentially a gun. Oh, we're <laughs> done. Totally worth it. That was cool. That I was wanted cool. to sit on it, see how it would take my face. <laughs> you want to find out? Yeah, let's put, take. We got to take the motor off to plug it back in. All right, you fix that. I'll. We'll just set the batteries on top for testing. Well, I'm just gonna leave hold that, that a second. Cool I'm, I gotta talk to Miss. The RF control, not bad. It. It was alright. The thing I really, really need more than anything though is a battery voltmeter. Yeah. <laughs> I need a voltmeter and I need a, a cutoff so that once the voltage gets so low, because that was that's the only real super danger with it is pulling the voltage too low and setting the battery on fire. I mean this still I was like, that's kinda weird the batteries are slow yet. That one sounded so hyper, but it was just because the battery but what? Uh, did, it start a bit? Yeah. did you let smoke out? No, but you can see it's. Ooh, Ooh. the connection is not so good. Ooh. Yeah, that's all. It's a little chowdered. All right. Yeah, I, I smelled something. That would be what? The wires on the motors aren't actually enough for what? What? For what they want? Yeah. All right. Well, put it together. We'll see if we get. <laughs> if we burn it up, then we know we need bigger motors. Yeah, it wouldn't be too hard just to upgrade the clamps to bigger clamps to accommodate yeah, bigger it, it motors. Would, it would change the motors around is a big deal. Or replace that. I would replace that, not clean oh, that's that. too much excitement for me. <laughs> <laughs> we have any more of those? The, the last one. I'm going to go with you. That's a good one. Uh, that's too loose. Damn it. Who's got my... Oh, you've got the camera. Right. Really? They'll be right back. So that's a successful test of the jet luge. <laughs> the very first fucking test, you go right to the end of the block and a cop goes by. That could but he was a cool cop. Perfect. I know, it was beautiful. He was a cool cop, though. He was like, he drives around. I was like, I want to see him. All right. We need lights. It needs lights. 
and the contact's on your foot, so when you put your feet down, the brake light comes on. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so we need we need a dozen of these. I mentioned yeah. it in the blog earlier. All right, guys. Female connectors. Comment with the female connectors we need to fit this motor. It is it's a Dr. Mad thrust. The IRC's figured out this one is serial number L00A19573. They're a matched pair. Yep. Um, it's an 1800 kV motor. Draws like 80 freaking amps yeah, through these like little, of these little. Those are like 12 gauge wires that I mean, you can see. Just Some oh my god. There. Um, let's coat these with heat shrink for safety. Yeah. And just leave the very tip it's, exposed so we've got the colors. It's heat shrink covered wire already. Yeah. Let's let's heat. put, we'll put another layer on there. Um, um, so we need we need the IRC to sort out what size sockets we need. We need females for here. And I I know what to order for this. I just need EC5 battery charging pigtail cables. So we're cool, but take these off and put the banana plugs back on and I'll put the batteries on to charge so that they're safe because right. I don't know I don't know their current state of charge and I don't want to risk it. All right. So all right, that's today's captain's blog. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you're interested in watching this live, we, we had the build of this on live. You can see it over there on that camera. Thanks to this gentleman right here, Ed. Um, you can find the link to tune in and watch the crazy shit we do live uh, in the description. And if you're interested in being part of the IRC group and chatting with us real time, um, links also in the description. And yeah, support us on Patreon. We're poor. <laughs> you guys have fun. See ya.